Hello Pirates, this is Yun for the Hunted Tips of the Plunder Pirates. In this video, we're going to find out of the one of the best defense layout called Encompassing Island. Let's check it out on the video. This is how the final layout looks like. So the main island is encompassed by these small islands. Let's try to find out what this the function of these small islands will be. Place the pirate hall as the bait because the pirate hall is the one of the strongest building in this game, and please put a lot of bombs there. So because normally a lot of people attack from the north side, and surround the main island by these small islands made of the grog distilleries and the gold mines. Place these decorations to form the beach, and having a beach is very very important in this game because it's gonna buy you time for the cannons to attack. Because if you do not have these kind of decorations, uh, the troops gonna attack your cannons directly. So having these kind of beach and putting these outhouses as a bait will be very important factor in this game. Let's check it out in the later video. This is one of the bad example layout, not having any beach. What happens is that, as you can see in this image, the gunners will be attacking as soon as they land on your island, and they're gonna attack instantly, and this is gonna end you up in the defeat. And try to check the range of each cannons and try to find out whether it covers your beach. So the beach does not have to be bigger than this range. And place the ship at the south and all the buildings at the south and once again check everything is inside the cover and that's it and let's check it out on the video okay so this is the fun part let's try to check out our layout which is called encompassed islands let's try to check it out on the defense replays as expected the gunners are now arriving from the north side Let's try to see how the gunner is going to react if you have these kind of small islands surrounding surrounding your main island. You can see that the troops are dispersing to each side. What this means is that when you're the attacker, you thought that 100% of the uh, troops going to be at the center, but what it shows here is that only like 30% is going to be at the center. As you just saw, like the buccaneers, only 50% are in the center and the 50% are on the right. So this attacker are putting more gunners at the left, but they're dispersing again, and these kind of dispersed troops are going to be very vulnerable, and it's going to be easy to defend. So as you can see on this video, this kind of layout change can bring a very different outcome. It's going to be more easier to defend. So why not try this kind of layout? Okay, so let's try to see once more, let's see a little bit more closely and you can see the gunners are going to the left and some gunners are going to the right and some gunners are coming to the middle. So what happens is that this attacker is putting a little bit more gunners because it's been dispersed too much. But as you can see they're going zigzagging and this kind of dispersed uh, troops is going to be very vulnerable and it's going to be very easy to defend. So this is how you do. And please notice that the gunners and the buccaneers will attack the somethings which is very near to them. So they're going to attack this building and they're not going to go to the left side because there's nothing. It's a decoration, a beach. But it's going to head for the nearest building which is uh, maybe the grog distilleries and the uh, outhouse right here in the left. But which was our bait and it's going to be easily killed within the range of the cannons. As you have seen, by only changing the layout, you can defend much better and more effectively. So it is very important to change your layout. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for the further defense strategy. Thank you for watching.